And good afternoon. It's Tuesday, and of course we are joined by Betty Hi, Hoover Steph. from the Humane Society. Hi, Betty. How are you? Good, good. And, and you brought a beautiful I brought, guest with you today. You know, as we remember, November is Adopt a Senior Pet Month, so mm -hmm. I brought another one of our senior citizens from the shelter. This is beautiful Jenna. She is six years old. She was given to us by a family that had had her since she was very young because they were moving and felt that they couldn't take her with them. And, and Jenna you know, Jenna's great. got kind of two little strikes against her. First of all, she's oh. a senior citizen, which would not deter me at all. Of course. And second of all, she's a pit mix. And as you know, mm. pits are often very hard to get adopted. But I hoped by bringing her today with the people being able to see her, they'd see, we see her sweet demeanor, her wonderful face, mm -hmm. and be willing to hopefully give her a home. And I know we've always been, we've been talking about senior pets. They are wonderful. I have two senior pets, and they're just so nice and calm. It's exactly what you and need. As you can see, Jenna's <laughs> very, very calm today and of course the weather is cold oh, right now and we're so talking about what to do to make sure that your pets stay warm because if you're cold they're cold exactly and you know we do this every year we talk about the weather and the pets and winter chill the winter chill can really threaten a pet's life because they're as sensitive to cold and as much at risk for frostbite and hypothermia as we are so here's a couple of really simple steps for your four-legged friends Keep your dog and cat inside with you and your family. That's the most important thing. And if you absolutely refuse to do that, and you feel you cannot, make sure that you provide a dry, draft-free shelter that is large enough for the dog to stand up in and turn around comfortably, but small enough to retain his body heat. Be sure to put a warm blanket um, in the shelter and turn the door away from the wind. You need to give your pets lots of food and water because keeping warm requires energy. And always make sure that your pet's water and food bowl is plastic because a pet's tongue can actually stick to a metal bowl if it mm. freezes. You want to protect the pet's paws from salt and other chemicals used to melt ice. I would suggest washing the pet's paws before the pet goes back in the house and he or she will want to lick them. Free roaming animals are often attracted to the warmth of a car engine. So if you leave your car outside at night, pound on the hood in the morning to alert any animals that might be in there so that they can escape. And of course, always speak out if, if you see pets that are left outside without shelter. Call, nine, uh, call 911 or call Animal Services is eight, at 842-1000. Be responsible. Take care of your four-legged friends. Yeah, you, how would you act if you saw a person outside? You should do the same thing for exactly. an animal. All right, Betty, thank you. And of course, if you would like to adopt a pet at the Humane Society, all you have to do is go down there at 4991 Fred Wilson or give them a call at 532-6971 if you're interested in this pet that you I have I wish that today. someone would come take Jenna home today. Yes. And look at this beautiful dog. All she wants is someone to love her. Yes, and if you'd like to adopt Jenna, of course, you can go ahead and <laughs> give him a call. Let him know that you want to be down there when you, when you meet Betty at the Humane Society. Thank you so much, Betty. And we're back after the break. Mm -hmm. 